Hello, it is time to have a look at a unit analysis example or a dimensional analysis example where we go from one unit to another where you may not know the relationship between them, which is to say, this is micrograms, this is decigrams. You may know how many micrograms are in a gram, but you probably don't know how many micrograms are in a decigram. So in order to get around that problem, we're going to do a conversion with more than one step where instead of going directly from here to here, we're going to go from micrograms to grams, and then from grams to decigrams in order to be able to convert this to our final answer. So, that being said, first thing we need to do is figure out how we're going to make that work with the units, because um, we, we don't want to make the mistake of having numbers in places and then putting things in the wrong place and then winding up with an answer that doesn't make sense. So, units first. So, you write down what we started with. So, micrograms... And then we're going to multiply that by some conversion factor. Now, remember the plan of attack was go from micrograms to grams, and then from grams to decigrams. So let's do that. Micrograms, I'll put that here on the bottom of this conversion factor because it needs to cancel out. I'm going to go from micrograms to grams. And then I set up the second conversion factor in order to be able to finish this, where, okay, it looks at like that. And I need a final answer with decigrams in it. So how do I get to there? I'm going to make sure decigrams is on top here. That way it comes out in the final answer. And uh, let's see, gram micrograms cancels micrograms. I need to make sure grams gets canceled out up top over there by grams down bottom over here. Okay, now that cancels that, that cancels that, and decigrams is in the final answer. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to start putting numbers in there. So I'll start with uh, the original number here. I've started with 785,493.44 micrograms. Let's see, 785, 493.44. And then uh, I need to figure out what these conversion factors are. So the question is, uh, okay, micro, you should, that's one of those things you've got to memorize. Micro means one one millionth, as in it's a really, really small part of a gram. So it involves the number a million. Now remember, when you figure out the conversion factor, the big number goes next to the small unit. So the big number is a million, and uh, this is the small unit. Micro is really, really small. So a microgram is a really small unit. So I'm going to put the big number, one million, next to microgram, the small unit. And then I'll just put a one up here. So one gram is a million micrograms. Okay, same here. Decigram is one tenth of a gram. That means deci, that's small. Okay, that's a small amount of grams right there. So I'm going to put that ten, since deci involves one, it is one tenth of a gram, that's number is involved is ten here, so I've got to put a ten in here. Well, so this is the smaller unit, so I put the big number, in this case a ten, next to the smaller unit, and just put a one next to the other. One gram is ten decigrams. Okay, that being done, basically with the calculator, I'm going to take this, divide it by a million, and then times it by 10. So when I do that, it uh, comes out to 7.85493444 decigrams. And that's the final answer. Almost, I just got to do one final check for significant figure rounding. Okay, as always, every single answer must be rounded for correct significant figures. So let's see. Eight significant figures here. This is a definition. We're going back and forth between two metric units. It is exact, which means it is infinite significant figures and does not influence your final answer, or rather how your final answer is rounded. This too, two metric units. The metric system is perfect, which is to say, exact powers of 10, which means that uh, when you're going back and forth between two metric units, it is a perfect 10, and you do not need to let this worry about or affect your rounding at all. So this doesn't affect your rounding because it's a perfect definition. This doesn't affect your rounding because it's a perfect definition. Eight sig figs, and here we have eight significant figures also. In other words, no rounding is needed in this particular case, and so we can call it good, we can box the answer. That is what you need to call it good.